Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your love romantic reading for today. This is a bonus reading for you guys. This is applicable for, for singles, couples, and relationship. This is over the next two to three days reading. Love romantic relationship reading. Dating for Scorpio sign. Thank you guys for your like, for your subscribe, and welcome to all uh, my new subscribers. I'm sorry I was sick. I was unable to complete the video upload last week but i am gonna do an upload this week for you guys twice so midweek which is now i'm doing it now and another week in love bonus so uh watch out for that okay oh <laughs> so the three cards flew out so this is your message scorpio i don't even have the shuffle you know so what's happening with you should i fake this now no let's do it again because I am talking while the card is ready. So that's not synchronized tarot cards, intuitions, and universe. That's not synchronicity. So please. <clears throat> so let me just concentrate. Please, universe, give us the important message for Scorpio sign today. Love, romantic, bonus reading for Scorpio, please. Over the next two to three days for Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay there is three characters in here you might be dealing with an earth sign capricorn taurus or, taurus or a virgo you might be dealing with a wands energy this is aries Lee or sagittarius and there is a high priestess in here so and then eight of pentacles in in upright position so i felt like someone is not ready to commit um th there's a sick there's the high priestess in reverse within when it is it's in reverse it means a secret has come out you have it's it's not a it's not a mystery you know um it's not a secret anymore it's not a mystery it's well it's known all right this is the message i'm getting here um Someone is not committing because um, they don't have a long-term plan. And you know that. And that's not a mystery to you or to someone. It's not a secret to you or someone. It's kind of telling me that it's out in the open that someone is not ready to commit. And someone is not ready to commit because they don't have or you don't feel a long-term plan with them. And someone knows about this person's intention or feelings, all right? High Priestess in Reverse is also an energy where um, you're, you're imbalanced. You know, you might be too connected where you're, with your emotions, but you're not connected with your logic. Um, or you're not using your intuition, all right? Because I felt like these two cards here, is you know the combination of the two cards is telling you hey scorpio or someone is not ready to commit someone is not ready to commit because they're um they don't have a long-term plan to commit or they don't have a long-term plan to you all right or their plan is somewhere else not into commitment all right it could also mean that you know reverse once is not being passionate about a commitment. So they're not willing to commit because they're not very passionate with it. They're not into it or into someone to commit. And, and, and if they're not into commitment or ready to commit, they don't, then it means that they don't have a long-term plan with you or with someone. They don't see you, someone, to be with them in terms of a long-term plan or longevity okay and i felt like for some of you um this is known all right you know you feel that they don't have the um the right feelings for you to be in a long-term relationship because they're not ready to commit it could be because this is queen of pentacles it could be they have previous marriages they have kids, it's maternal, queen of pentacles is maternal, that could be one of the reasons, or queen of pentacles in reverse, it's just that they are not ready to share their time, so they don't have a passion to commit to you, 
or to be in a long-term commitment to you or they don't see you in terms of longevity because right now they're so focused on their time or they have issue with committing to you because they have other responsibility. And you know that, but you're not following your intuition. Or this simply means that that's out in the open. You know, that's not a secret anymore. You know that, but you're not following your intuition. All right, Scorpio. And the collective advice reading is to focus, you know, to focus with your work. All right. I felt like, I felt, sorry, excuse me. I felt like for some of you guys, you know that this is what's going to happen. You know that this is where it's going. But for some of you guys, you're still holding on to this person, to this someone. And um, when this shows up, it simply means like, you know, just work hard with your craft. Work hard with work, with career. If your love romantic relationship is not into you, is not of a longevity plan to be with you then focus yourself to career this is a person that's working hard building their finances and perfecting their craft all right their their career they're devoting or they're you know it could also mean that keep yourself busy at work or in, to, in terms of productivity and creativity because the person you're interested romantically you know in the next two to three days they're somewhere, their interest and passion is somewhere else, somewhere else, not with you, all right? Or this could be a more bigger picture that they don't have a longevity, uh, you know, they don't see you in the future because they have other commitment, all right? So that's for you, Scorpio. And I felt like this is, I felt like you knew this. I felt like you're not following your intuition. I felt like, you know, the majority of you guys, whoever who's watching the video, you know that this person is displaying this attitude, this behavior, and it's already, you know, having a red flag. You know, it's giving a signal of a red flag to you guys, but you're ignoring your intuition, all right? I want to pull, uh, pull a clarifying cards again for you, Scorb, as to how is it looking in the future, all right? How is it looking in the... Because I felt like you're holding on to this person. For some of you guys, you're ignoring the fact, the truth that this person is not much into you right now over or over the next two to three days. You felt that they're not really into you, their vibe not into you, their attention, their feeling is not into you, but you are ignoring it or you're not following your intuition. So let's ask the card, please. What's the, like the future looking like with this connection, with this reading today? Three, four months, six months duration, please. Oops. Um, reconsideration. So the card has spoken. The universe has spoken. They send a message. So if they're not into you right now, in the next, I ask, two to three, four months, two, three, four months right now, they will reconsider you guys. All right? So do not worry right now. They could be busy as well. Sorry, I'm, I almost missed that. If they're not interested with you, if they're not interested with you, if you felt like this person is not interested with you, it's not showing attention, affections, and feelings to you, um, and they're not willing to commit, and you know that, but you're ignoring it, you're still clinging into some kind of a hope that you guys can be together or this person can pay attention with you, they could be busy at work or the advice to you is keep yourself busy or put yourself to work so that you don't overthink of this person. Um, and I asked the card, how is it looking, you know, three, four, six months in the future with this person, you know, with the collective energy reading that we have today? They will reconsider it, but right now they're busy at work, all right? So that's for you, Scorpio. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here. Thanks, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'll see you soon again uh, this weekend for another love bonus. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.